Hello, Year 4s, and um, welcome back. This is a quick response to our live lesson this morning. So our live lessons this morning were looking at science and looking at wider curriculum. So we are briefly going to discuss the science today. In science, I think most of you were okay with it. I've seen some of your work online and it's been really great, so well done. We just had a brief discussion of the um, the branching databases and how they worked and the idea that you've got to ask quite specific questions when you're asking and then you should be able to um, break it down. So I will share with you this quick example. So if you were classifying organisms and if we had to classify or we were trying to organize um, these four animals, so we would look at the similarities between them and the differences. Um, so for example, one of the um, similarities was that the two on the left could be kept as pets, two on the right would be very dangerous to keep as pets. So that would then split them into two. And then within the two there, you would split them again. So can you usually keep it as a pet? Your answer would be yes or no. And then you would have to then break your questions down even more so that it could lead you to a specific animal. So for example, if we had to ask, is it a herbivore? So does it only eat plants? Then we would know it was a rabbit. If we said no, then we would know it was a puppy because obviously they both can be kept as pets, but the rabbit is a herbivore, the, um, the, the dog isn't. And that would be a very specific way. It's a very specific question to help you sort them. If we looked at the ostrich and the crocodile, can it be kept as a pet? Probably not. So we would say no. Then we would um, say, does it have feathers? If it does have feathers, it would take us to the ostrich. If it doesn't, it would take us to the crocodile. So that's a very simple branching database, but it shows you how by asking one question, you would split the animals into two groups. And then you would ask another question that was specific to those two that were underneath and then you would be able to sort them that way and thank you for those of you that have shared some pictures of um, your walks outside or some of the living organisms and um, their habitats that you have seen outside so keep up the good work and keep sharing it with us on tapestry